This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I've been meaning to get around to this video for a while. I've covered the band Soft Cell in a video before about one of their album covers, which is Masonic, which I'll get into in this video. But I wanted to cover it and just show people how sick these people really are and how in our faces it is. Because when you see this video, which I'm leaving linked up below, screenshots, screen captures, because I can't use the video as copyright. But you will be disgusted and sick. Now, if you don't know who this band is, you're probably not alone, but pretty much everybody has heard this song before called Tainted Love. It's been covered by Marilyn Manson. Soft Cell actually took it from somebody else and covered it and did their own variation of it. But the song is about pedophilia. Now, you may never have thought that before because you've never sat down, looked at the lyrics, and then actually watched the music video, which is one of the most disturbing videos you'll see. And once you do, you'll realize, wow, it really is that in our faces. Tainted love with the lyrics of, sometimes I feel I've got to, boom, boom, run away. Everybody knows the song. You've heard it, whether it's covered by them or covered by somebody else. So I'm going to go through all of that. But I'm going to start with the fact that this guy, Mark Almond, is a Satanist. He was inducted into the Church of Satan by Boyd Rice. Mark Almond himself claims to be a homosexual male, as well as a member of the Church of Satan. And this is one of their album covers, so let's start here. I mean, how much more in your face does it need to get? You can clearly see the Masonic album cover with the Masonic tiles, the all-seeing eye, the pillars. You can see the Masonic compass and the staircase. All the basic things, the ladder, and all of, I mean, it's right in our faces, right? We see the all-seeing eye above, under the arch. And they're not hiding it. They're not hiding who they are. The connection is always there with Freemasonry, with the occult, with pedophilia. It's always right in our faces, right? You got this guy who is a member of the Church of Satan. Oh, wink, wink, they're supposed to be atheists. Who is promoting Freemasonry on his album cover, which is pretty much telling you that he's a Freemason. We have all the basic symbols on there. And then promoting pedophilia in one of the more disturbing music videos you'll ever see. So let's take a look at some of the things from this music video, which are just absolutely disturbing. The video opens with a young little black girl walking inside of a gate. With a Hello, Moto. Man who appears to have a scratch on his face, which appears to be a scratch from the child. He then gives the apple to the little girl, right? The apple representing the forbidden fruit. That's what it's representing in this video. The forbidden fruit being the child. As they walk through here, you'll see these Roman Empire-like statues. Now, if you look close enough, it does look like that this statue is, in fact, Antonus. Which, where have we seen that before, right? James Oliphantus having that as his Instagram photo. Now, some might say it's not the same guy. It's hard to tell, obviously, because this is an old depiction of the statue in a really crappily made music video. But I believe that it thoroughly is. Now, as the video goes, you see the young girl approach the lead singer, Mark Allman. This is the guy who's a Satanist. And he starts to sing the song. He's serenading this little black girl with the lyrics from Tainted Love, you see a black man in the background who's gasping in shock over this. If you actually read some of the forums out there, there's fans of these bands that openly talk about this music video like it was some type of artistic creation expressing, uh, you know, hidden desires. Like they're just in denial that pedophilia exists, that these people are pedophiles. And it's like, ooh, edgy. That's what these people always... You know, these artists get away with this stuff because they call themselves artists so they can technically do and say what they want. And people go, well, he was trying to express something else because he was gay. All right, so a little black girl holding an apple. He's now singing these lyrics to the little girl, looking her in the eye creepily as he sings these lyrics. He's saying, once I ran to you, now I run from you. This tainted love you've given, I give you all a boy could give you. Take my tears, and that's not nearly all. Oh, tainted love. So he's saying he could give this little girl more than a boy could give her. 
as he tries to get the apple from the girl. He eventually gets that forbidden apple from the girl and begins teasing the little girl as he continues to sing. Now I know I've got to run away. I've got to get away. You don't really want it anymore from me. To make things right, you need someone to hold you tight. He's singing this looking the girl in the eye. And you'll think Bob is to pray, but I'm sorry, I don't pray that way. I mean, it's not hard to read between Yikes. the lines of what this sick pup is saying. Right? But give her more than a boy could ever give her. He's saying now he's got to go, he's got to run away, he's got to get away. And you don't really want it anymore from me. Well, what do you think he's referring to? Want what? Now, when people hear this song, they think it's about a boyfriend and a girlfriend. When you see the music video, what does it tell you? Right? And it taints uh, how he holds up and he mocks the the little girl with the apple because he now has the forbidden fruit, right? And then he goes on, he says, Don't touch me, please. I cannot stand the way you tease. I love you, though you hurt me so. This is what he's singing to a little girl. So why do you think it's called a tainted love? Don't touch me, please. I cannot stand the way you tease. I love you, though you hurt me so. Now I'm going to pack my things and go. And he's going, touch me, baby, tainted love. I mean, really? I mean, this stuff is just out there, right? I mean, it's it's so unbelievable. Hello. Right? And for those of you that don't know what the word taint means, tainted, it means to contaminate or pollute. Affects with a bad or undesirable quality. Those are the definitions of taint. This is what he's singing to this little girl. Now, there'll, there'll be flashing eyes and things like that. You also notice that the guy who delivers the young little girl to him, he's carrying like a croquet racket or something like that. You know, he's dressed like some rich person. He's delivering the girl to him. And now he tells the guy to go. He goes off with you. The guy leaves and leaves this young child he walked in with, with this guy. And he has a scratch mark on his face almost to show that, you know, that he's abused this girl and been rejected by this girl but tried to abuse her, seduce her. And this guy just goes on in the video and tries, he touches her, he tries to seduce her, he you know, brings her over to a fish tank. He touches her with her hand in the fish tank and he's like just so excited that she's touching the fish. I mean, it's really, really sick. And it's all right in our face. I mean, there's nothing in this video that is hidden. And if you watch this and you go, wow, all right, I just watched the music video. You know, I think you're making stuff up. What planet are you living on? What world are you living in? How is this not wrong? I mean, if you went to like your local karaoke club or bar or something, and you saw a 50-year-old man singing this song to a five-year-old girl, would you not be creeped out? Would you not say, uh, what is going on here? Would the bar or restaurant would be completely seen? say something so why is it okay here oh because it's art in a music video no it's not it's not a coincidence the connections between satanism freemasonry and pedophilia it's all right there right you always track the stuff back with these people and why does it always lead to masonry and satanism because they're one and the same because freemasons worship lucifer that is their god and they claim oh no we follow the bible you know they won't talk about following jesus i've uploaded videos about masonry what they really teach and all the Egyptian stuff inside of their Masonic Bible. Then you get the Satanists who go, oh, we don't follow anything. We're just, a, we're trying to make a political statement here, but we use the Baphomet and the pentagram and everything else, right? It's all right there for people to see. It's just a question of, can you handle it? Do you want to see it? Or do you want to deny it? And a lot of people want to deny it because they don't want to taint their heroes. They don't want to look at Beyonce and say, oh, this person's a Satanist, even if they're Christian. Because they love these people, and they won't admit it because they're prideful. They go, oh, I don't worship Beyonce. I only have her posters, all her music, uh, you know, all that stuff. And I defend her at every second I get. You don't hear these people defending Jesus Christ. You know, the fact that this guy's still out there. These people are just walking amongst us. And people go, well, you can't just say that they're this or they're that. Well, what person would do this? If you signed up for a band and they handed you the song, Tainted Love, right, which you didn't write, because they clearly didn't write it. And they went, okay, here's the music video. You're going to sing this to a little five-year-old black girl. Wouldn't you be like, uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to look like a pedophile. It's creepy. 
That's what a normal person would say. I don't want to hear this, oh, it's art, oh, it's in the name of art. No, it's not. So this is soft cell. Obviously, they have the Masonic cover. You can see, I mean, the Freemasonry logo right on it. It's plain as day. There's no denying what they're saying. There's no denying when you see this music video that it's not filled with pedophilia and suggestive, you know, suggestive, uh, you know, imagery and, and hints towards pedophilia. With the apple, the forbidden fruit, that's what it represents in this. I'm not saying that the, the fruit is, the apple is the specific forbidden fruit, but that's what it's representing in this video. And then this little girl carrying it and then him taking it. I mean, it's sick. So I'll leave the link up below. You can watch for yourself. It's real disturbing stuff, but I feel a responsibility to point this stuff out because it does help wake people up when they see this stuff. Satanism and the occult, they are everywhere. And it's all about pedophilia. They prey on these kids, but the common person doesn't realize this because they don't know the kids are being preyed upon because the mainstream media doesn't report it. But they'll show you this stuff in music videos. They'll show you, you know, pageant shows of five-year-old girls in bikinis and grown men applauding. And they're telling us this is all okay. And nobody's out there trying to protect these kids. We need to raise awareness on this stuff. I thank everybody out there for listening to today's show. Again, the link will be down below. God bless all of you and your families. And let me know what you think.